the sad life of online trolls. All they have is negativity. Something bad to say about other people, and there's so many of them. There's a quote, it's easier to criticize something than to take time to appreciate it. It also says it's easier to fool somebody than to convince them they've been fooled. These people, they have no real life purpose, and they see somebody like me with a distinct life purpose. I'm inspired by music. I'm inspired by the Lord. I'm inspired by life. I appreciate life. My music is inspired by the Lord. And I love everything that God has done for me, and I appreciate my life. I appreciate my afterlife. I have this comfort now I'm, I'm going to be saved, something that none of you internet trolls have. None of you. None of you people coming onto my page and thumbs downing my videos. No, I don't get anybody thumbs upping my videos. Maybe one or two. Who knows? It might be the same person giving me the thumbs down. I don't know. But you go up to somebody's page who already has nothing, who's been working on their YouTube page for 10 years and has only 232 subscribers, and you thumbs down their video. Meanwhile, somebody else tells me how Oh, you just believe this to make yourself feel, feel special because you've accomplished nothing in your life. See, these are the things that people say to me for telling people about Flat Earth and about the King James Bible. They have to shoot the messenger. There's a quote that says, When the argument is lost, slander is the weapon of the loser. And in the case of lost people, it's also group harassment, uh, mass thumbs downing, mass disapproval, mass disliking. It's basically, you're a hater. You see me, and I'm the reason that the hate is inside of you. I inspire the hatred in me, and you want me to just go away. You want me to die. So you'll say things, you'll do whatever it takes within your power so that my life never moves forward. Because I can't have both salvation and a smooth sailing life now, I'm going to continue enjoying my life more than lost people do, which I do, knowing that I'm saved. But the fact is, they're going to just try to make it a hassle for me and make it as hard as possible and try to insult me every step of the way. Because they're so insecure. That's what it is. They are so incredibly insecure that they can't just let me live my life. And they claim that I'm not letting them live their lives. But they're the ones who are so filled with hate at even the mention of Jesus. Jesus.